Hello everyone, I'm Vice91 and welcome back for more Let's Play Mighty Number no. 9. Last time we made it through the intro stage and now we're standing in front of the stage select screen. Dr. Sand is pointing at a map of the United States, apparently, where all the the Mighty Number no. robots are located. So anyway, uh, we have the city, I guess, on the west coast in California, maybe Los Angeles or something, is where our lab is. And so now we have all these stages to go through. Uh, the oil platform... Waterworks Bureau, Power Plant, Mine, Military Base, Radio Tower, Highway, and Capitol Building. Um, I don't know what to choose first, so let's just go with maybe the first one? I don't know? Mighty Number 1? Codename Pyrogen? Close range fighter, robot proficient in melee combat, possesses flame generation ability, and can attack through self-detonation. Oh, what? Okay, let's try it. Uh, explain? <laughs> what is this game? Mighty number one, Pyrogen, has been sighted near this oil refinery. Okay, Prevent thank you. Scale inferno. Oh, okay. I'll try. Let's... You are all set, then? Uh, I guess. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just start. Uh, I don't know... Yeah, so the girl's name is Call. Uh, you know, our main character's name is Beck. Yeah, like Beck and Call. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll be fine. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's oil. Apparently that's hurting me somehow, or doing something. What is that? What is that icon above my head? I have no idea what that means. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, how do I get up there? Okay. Oh, I don't like these guys. Already. Seriously? Uh, okay. Could you rotate any slower, please? Ten percent lame? Okay, it's like, geez. Alright. So, like I said, it's going to take me a little while just to get used to, like, the, the whole system here. And the whole lack of wall jumps is really throwing me off because I'm so used to being able to do that. That it's just, it just might, you know, it, it might screw me at some point just because I'll be expecting to be able to do that. And I won't actually be able to do that. Oh, what is this thing? Oh! Bring it on. Hey, Rammer! You like to ram stuff. Here we go. Well, screw you. I wonder if there's any, like, secret areas and stuff. Um, like the other Mega Man games, you know, had, like, energy tanks and heart tanks and stuff that were kind of, like, tucked away and sort of, like... A secret, not really secret, but like hard to find little nooks and crannies of a particular stage. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I gotta dodge stuff. Okay, I don't like y'all. Oh, okay, so if the fire hits the oil, that's bad news. Hey, how do you just get through the fire unscathed completely. <laughs> I like the symbol on that one. It's like, I go in a circle. Pyro. Who are you? Are you going to say anything or just grunt? Burn. The world must burn. <laughs> well, at least you have a fitting Pyro, name. Wait. Oh, thanks, Call. What? Where? So yeah, that's uh, the whole like name thing. They've done that before. Um, you know, they've done like um, rock and roll, uh, treble and bass, and I'm about to die. Oh, yep, I'm dead. Well, there goes that. So there's my first death. Woo! Maybe I'm really bad at this game. And there was a one-hit kill uh, mode? Yeah, screw that. Do I have to really listen through all this again? Ugh. 
Okay. So let's try this again. Oh sweet, I got like a little combo there. That was kind of cool. Ow. Bring it on. Yeah. Bring it on. All right. Ooh, crap. I can't believe there was a freaking one-hit kill mode. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Oh my god. Wait, really? What was the point of running across those platforms then? Oh! Okay. <laughs> that became evident really quickly. Alright, so you can only run across them once, it seems. I'll kill you, but I'm not going to get your, like, energy or whatever, your, your cell. Oh my god. Okay. Jeez. Alright, so at least the levels are presenting a, a decent challenge. Like, what is this, though? I don't understand, like, what this symbol is doing to me. Or what is happening. And I'm wondering if the fire is a one-hit kill. Uh, I don't know. Oh! But that is falling into a pit. Yep, that's death. Uh. Alright, so made it through that time. Uh, was this like the very end of the stage too? Okay. Cool. We'll talk about that later. Giant pillar. Oh my god, what just happened? Well, that was fun. Okay, let me try to get back here. Alright, so let's not get crushed by the giant column this time. Oh, really? Yeah, thanks for telling that... Telling me that before I died to the giant falling piece of... Let me guess, you're gonna fall too. Come on. I love how it just like crumbles through the floor, but doesn't like make a hole in the floor or anything. Oh, and apparently these little symbols above my head are like little power-ups and stuff that you gain for a limited time. Um, I don't know what all of them mean yet, but like there's a few. There's like a, a fire charge shot or whatever, and then like a shield and something else, and I don't know. There's a few different. There's a few different kinds, obviously. Oh my God! Really? Okay. Ugh. This is ridiculous. Alright. So let's just not die from certain death. Whatever that means. I don't know, but I have full health. Do I have to jump? Oh. Oh. Hey, here he is. Pyro. Finally. Yeah, I'd say. You... Why you not burn? Because I'm metal? Why you not burn? I don't know, but calm down, dude. Uh -oh. Alright. Burn! Okay, you said that. Pyro crash! Pyrogen! Burn! <laughs> Alright, mighty number one, let's see if we can take care of business. Alright, so. Ooh. Oh! Jeez. Yeah, come on. Bring it on then. Ooh, explosion. Oh! Good god, that did a lot of damage. Jeez! Holy mother! This is ridiculous! Oh my god. Alright, let's try this again. I got a couple power-ups that the game mercifully gave me. At the start of this fight. So we'll see if that helps me at all. Jeez. 
I mean, obviously this this fight gets easier if you have like his weakness, which is probably like some ice weapon or something like that. Um, Jeez, man, I can't get out of the way of that explosion. Oh, thank you, game. I earned a trophy for that. Jeez, man, I can't get out of the way of that body slam. Oh, my God. All right, I have to, like, pay attention to whenever he's using that attack. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't want to fight you, Pyro. Oh, and now he's gonna like go berserk now that he's at half health. Insane. I don't want to fight you, Pyro. Please snap out of it. It's no use, Beck. He's too far gone. Like a moth to the flame. Finally! Yes! God, I am not going to tell you how many uh, attempts that took me. <laughs> is that you? Yeah, the guy you've been trying to kill for like an undetermined amount of times. Why is your chin so long and skinny? Anyway, he does have an instant kill ability once his health drops below half. I'll probably cut in and sh like show you what that was actually. It's incredibly cheap. Basically, if you run into him while his whole fi his whole body is on fire, he'll grab hold of you and self-destruct, and it will kill you immediately. No matter how much health you have, it's ridiculously cheap. Anyway, finally through that stage. Thank God. And uh, we get, I guess, our first ability. Uh, Pyrogen. Reselection. Uh, oh, it's a whole new form entirely. Okay. Well, new ability, same thing, whatever. Jiminy! Uh, Atta my boy, God. Beck. Come on, Will, show a bit of enthusiasm! Perhaps you should show a bit of restraint, Dr. Sonda. This is only the beginning. Yeah. Call, please transfer Beck's assimilated cell data over to my terminal. Okay. I want to begin my analysis and see if I can isolate the root of the malfunction. Something's telling me you won't right find away, out until Professor we've defeated White. all eight. Just a guess. Incidentally, Sonda, I caught a bit of news on the way here. The president of Cherry Dynamics was insisting the source of the incident is Dr. Blackwell. And? What? Poppycock. <laughs> Poppycock, Blackwell really? He is a genius, but he, he couldn't possibly be behind this. You must admit, there are similarities to his last plot to shut down every robot in America. You mean how they both originated at the Battle Coliseum? But 
He was caught and arrested. He has an accomplice named Even Sigma. Blackwell isn't clever enough to pull this off from inside a maximum security prison. Indeed. I wonder why Mr. Graham seems so certain. Well, enough. Because he that. didn't want the blame? There's Maybe? data to sift through. Sonda, can you continue assisting Beck? Absolutely. Really? Let me know as soon as you discover anything. Okay. Thank you, Wii U Gamepad, for chiming in. Don't know if you heard what that. But <laughs> we tackle next? Anyway, so, finally got past the first stage there. I guess we were in, like, New Orleans or something? <laughs> Down there in Louisiana. Anyway, uh, oh, new tips have been added. Oh, uh, there is something that I wanted to point out, that there are a bunch of, like, these tips in the options screen. I guess it tells you about, like, um, you know, certain mechanics of the game or whatever. Um, anyway... Uh, so, some good stuff to read up on. I may read up on some of this stuff between episodes or something like that, um, because, I mean, it has some interesting information. Uh, anyway. So, that, a new challenge, let me take a look at this. Oh, end the game and switch to X mode? No. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll take a look at that after, uh, this, um, this run through, but, uh, we'll check that out later. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. We finally made it through Mighty Number no. 1 stage, even though it took me uh, a little while, quite a few tries. But the beginning is usually the hardest when you don't have any power-ups or anything like that. So now that we have one under our belt, maybe this will become a little bit easier from here on out. We will see. But that'll do it for today. So thank you guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the first stage in Mighty Number no. 9. And uh, we'll just keep plowing through the Mighty Number no. stages next time. So until then, you guys take care and I will see y'all later for more Let's Play Mighty Number no. 9.